Hey everyone, this is Nate with Nate Masara Photography. I wanted to take you take a moment to give you a brief introduction to uh, my Flush Mount albums. Uh, this is actually my wedding album, uh, so uh, needless to say, I didn't uh, take these pictures, uh, but I did uh, design the album and uh, had it printed uh, at the same place where I'll have your album printed. I'll, uh, I guess I'll start at the cover. This is a 15 inch by 10 inch flush mount albums. A lot of the, the standard albums that I, that I offer are 12 by 12, um, so it'll be a little bit thinner this way and a little bit deeper this way, uh, and it'll be kind of square, needless to say. And uh, if you really want a, a 10 by 15, we can make that happen. Uh, it's a little bit, little bit extra. Um, the cover is a leatherette. It's not actually made of real leather, uh, but it's considerably more durable. Uh, than a real leather. If you really want real leather though, or if you want it in another color, um, those are both uh, possibilities that we can make happen. Also on the cover, you can kind of see right here, um, is an embossing uh, that says Nate and Alex Masara. Not sure if you can see that. Um, bear with me on the quality of this video. I'm just kind of shooting it with my iPhone. Um, but I think the embossing looks pretty great and uh, I'd recommend, recommend that. Um, so this is a flush mount album because each uh, each picture uh, is kind of printed and mounted onto a, a board um, that is a little bit flexible, but you can kind of see it doesn't flex very much. Nothing like a normal page. And so that's one of the things that kind of uh, gives it what they call a lifetime rating. It's also sealed with a protective seal that you can't even really tell is there over each of the pages. So uh, if you're just kind of uh, talking over the album and you get a little spit of spit on it and you don't realize it and then you maybe close close the page and then a month later you go back to open it up and then your picture can just kind of rip in a lot of other albums but uh, all of these are sealed with with a coating that uh, helps it stand the test of time uh, another uh, great feature is that uh, you can uh, mount it or I mean sorry the way that it's printed uh, is flush all the way to the edge so there's not really uh, there doesn't have to be any margin on the picture as you can kind of see on the top and bottom of this middle picture Another great thing about it is that there's no gutter in the middle. Like on a typical bound book, the picture kind of goes in and you lose a little bit of a picture in the binding. Uh, but with the Flush Mount album, uh, it's, it, you can just print right all the way across and you can't even really tell. Um, you, you, have, you definitely don't lose any picture. Uh, so for instance, right here, you could, the, uh, the middle is right here, but we just kind of put, printed a picture right across and it looks pretty, pretty fantastic. Uh, needless to say, I didn't take these pictures because this is my wedding, but uh, I did uh, design the album and, and put it together that way. I'll bring it a little bit closer. You can see uh, see the binding a little bit better. Um, they lay flat. looks pretty great. Obviously, I'd love to get together with you in person, let you uh, look at the, one of these up close, get a feel for exactly what it's like. Feel free to send me an email. I'd be glad to get together and make that happen. Uh, so there you go, Flush Mount album. Uh, one last thing to consider is that uh, typically uh, on each page uh, fits three to four pictures uh, on average. Uh, sometimes it's one or two, sometimes it's five or six, like on this page, on this spread. Uh, there are five of them. That's another thing that's actually helpful to think about. Uh, typically, if you were kind of reading a book, this would be one page and this would be two page, uh, and you can think of it that way, uh, but I kind of count it in spreads. So this whole thing would be a spread, one spread, um, or you can think of it as two pages. Um, so that's just another thing to be thinking about as you're uh, picking out your favorite pictures and uh, thinking about how, how many uh, spreads you'll need to fit all of your favorite pictures. There you go. Hope that's helpful.